welcome back to JG3 Reviews. My name is James and today let's talk pocket pins. You guys know that I sing the praises of the Gravitas Brass Pocket Pin. It is sturdy, it has a number six Yovo nib, it's a great writer, and uh, you just can't beat it as an everyday carry. But it's summertime in Texas, and that means that, you know, it's anywhere from 95 to 105 pretty much every single day. And that means a lot of light polos, t-shirts, shorts, and that means my summer EDC gets lighter and lighter. And while this is a great, terrific, durable pocket pin, it does weigh over 50 grams. And in the summertime, I hardly carry anything in my shorts pocket that is gonna be 58 grams. My flashlight shrinks and gets even smaller and my pocket knife gets even tinier. And that means that my pen probably also is going to have to be a little bit lighter. So what do I carry now in the summer? Well, it has been the Caveco Lilliput. Comes in at 8 grams. It's a tiny little pen. It has some strengths and weaknesses. It's not a pen you want to write with for a long time. It's more of a quick note, kind of a jotting pen. But it is a great pen. But what if you could have a full-size grip section a full-size number six nib and still come in almost as light and even shorter than a Caveco Lilliput. Well, Ben Walsh at Gravitas Pens has that base covered too because this is the new Gravitas Quark, a truly small pocket pen. It is shorter than the Lilliput, as you'll see in the size comparison here in just a moment. It is almost as light at 11 grams. That's five times lighter than that brass pocket pen that I carry most of the year. And yet it has a full size grip section and a number six nib. This is a fun pen for summertime EDC carry. So let's flip that camera and take a closer look. All right, let's start with the packaging. When you get your pen, it comes in this very cool tube with a seal of authenticity and the number of your pen and attached to that is a lanyard and a key ring holder for spare pen cartridges. It comes with two. Of course, one of those is already in the pen itself. And I like the packaging. I just think this is kind of fun. It speaks to the portable nature of the pen and it's just a neat way to have done that. You can tell he put a lot of thought in it. You open up that tube which might look like it would hold a fairly small pen, but the tube really dwarfs the pen. This pen, I'm telling you, it is a small pen. Just to give you an idea, I've got a Twisby Eco here handy, and you can see the Twisby Eco in the size of my palm there, and then the Quark. I mean, this is a tiny pen, and it, it feels even lighter than it actually is. And looking at the design of the pen itself at the top, you have the Gravitas logo, laser etched, and that looks quite good. And you can also see quite well how nice and precise the edge of this cap is. That's not sharp at all, and yet the machining is nice and crisp. Then you have the up arrow and, and not much else going on with the cap. It does taper to about here and then straight down running most of the length of the pen. As you come to that small barrel as you see in a second, it comes straight down to those fine threads. And that brings us to one of the strengths of the pen. We'll count turns here in just a second, but a weakness to me of the Caveco Lilliput, which I think would be strong competition to this pen, is the number of turns to go on and off. So that takes one and then two, and then three, and then it finally comes off. And then you're gonna do that again to post. That seems like nitpickiness to a lot of people, but if the pen is in and out of your pocket and you're making several notes through the day, it actually kind of does start to eat into your enjoyment of using the pen. So how many turns does it take to take the cap off of the quark? It takes less than one turn. Did you see that? Like a three-quarter turn? Now to put the pin on in post is just two turns. Now I find on my pin, I've got to get that in there nice and straight. I don't want to damage those threads. 
and I get a little bit of a catch now and then. But two turns does put the pin to post it. And then look at what you've got. You've got a very decently sized pin that is not too small at all. And you have this really nicely shaped full length section and so it's a very comfortable pen to hold. Now one of the reasons that a lot of us like a number six nib on a pen is not just that it's a broader nib that doesn't actually affect the performance of the pen most of the time, but for me it is the length from the tip of the nib to where I'm holding the pen. With some pens I just find that I write more comfortably and write better. This will change with your particular grip and uh, sometimes, you know, the size of the notebook, how high off the desk the paper is, thick the notebook, all that stuff. But that length is just a more comfortable length to write with. You're a little bit further away from the paper. Your hand rests differently than with a short nib and when you're down here. So that's one reason people like a larger nib. It just makes for a more comfortable writing experience and I find that to be true with this pen. Where the Lilliput is a comfortable enough pen for short writing sessions, this I can write with like any standard sized pen. That's been my experience so far and so I really like that about the pen. All right, taking a look at the nib, it has that nice Gravitas logo, a great big B, so you remember that this one is a broad, and I love the idea of it writing with a broad line out of such a tiny pen, and then of course it is the Yovo compatible feed and nib unit, which is a part of the appeal of this small pen. Now the barrel is tiny, okay, it is tiny. So you're not going to write with this pen without it being posted. And that's true for me with the Lilliput and a few other pocket pens as well. So that's not a big deal. But it is something you're going to want to know. This is a pen you're going to need to post to write with. Unless, I mean, you're literally just making a little tick mark on a, a golf cart or something like that. There's no converter here. That's not going to happen. But you can fit the international short cartridges. This is a Pelican Blue cartridge. So overall, the design is really simple. It's really nice and clean. I really like the gray finish that I have. And of course, they do have it in various finishes and materials, as you can see. I think that just looks really slick. All right, it wouldn't be a Gravitas Quark pen review without a size comparison. Did you ever think you'd see a pen review for a fountain pen with a number six nib where the lily put is the bigger pen. Well, that, that's what we've got right here in their capped length. The Quark coming in as definitely the shortest pen. The lily put is narrower, but definitely a bit longer. The Caveco Sport, of course, looking like quite a large pen here. And then the Gravitas brass pocket pen. I like all of these pens. I'm a fan of pocket pens. I like the ease of carry, the handiness of them. Uh, they do sometimes have strengths and weaknesses that are exaggerated, of course, by their size. But overall, all of these pens I'm glad I have in my collection and in my regular rotation. The Quark is definitely, though, throwing down the gauntlet for just how low can you go in this comparison. All right, and here we have the pins in their posted length, which just happened to be pretty much in length order. So you have the Lilliput at the smallest posted length, the Gravitas coming in with pretty much a tie with the Caveco Sport. Pardon the mismatched section on that pin that has to do with the failure of the original. This is also a great illustration of why you never see white plastic fountain pens on my channel. And then you have that brass pocket pen, which is the largest pen once posted in this selection. And I'm not going to show the pens in their unposted length. I don't use any of these pens unposted. And the Sport is the only one that's really very usable that way anyway. All right, let's see how the pen writes. This is, again, the Gravitas. This is the Quark. And I'm curious, how do you write your cursive cues in English? I was taught that they're kind of like an embellished large number two when I learned cursive in school way back in the second grade. But, you know, I think that changes depending on where you are in the English-speaking world. I'm curious how you guys write those. And then, just for the irony, 
I got mine with a broad nib because I thought it would be great to have a broad nib in a tiny pen. That Sport also has a broad nib and I enjoy that. And I find this writes a really nice line and that does of course make it write nice and wet for a small pen. Ink today is the supplied Pelican Blue cartridge. And I do think that's just a really nice blue. Give you a bigger idea there of what that looks like if you're not familiar. Though I think just about everybody eventually has at least a cartridge or two of Pelican Blue lying around. The pen just writes really well. That section really is just like a full-size pen. The only real thing you notice writing with it different from any other pen with a nice section and a six nib is the lightness of this pen. This entire pen inked is 11 grams. So you're talking about just a very light in the hand pen, but it's very comfortable and very easy to write with. And the grooves are really well done. In fact, let me do a close up here of that. You have here micro grooves. If you already have another Gravitas pen, you're going to find that these grooves are just a bit tighter. There is no slip on this metal section whatsoever. These grab on just like an extra set of fingerprints. It really is fantastic and as you can see very well done. And while we're here let's just get a little bit extra light on that broad nib and you can see that it is a a generous broad tipping that it, we have here and so it writes very nicely and very smoothly. Now let's do a little bit of our speed test. All right, so this is this is like purposeful scribbling here. We're going to see if the pen can keep up in its ink flow. Very, very good. There's not, I didn't even lift this time. And there are no skips. That did just fine kept up. All right, how about our serious quote of the day? All right, so what do I think about the pen? Well, you know, there are pocket pens I write with because they're convenient, and then there are pocket pens that I use because they're convenient and a great writing experience. This pen is one of those, the brass pocket pen. It is a great writing experience, not just a convenient pen. I'm going to put the Quark right in there with it. Now, these two pens are really very different. They are at the opposite end of the scale when it comes to weight and a pocket pen, but they both bring some things to the table that I like. For this one, it is its near indestructible nature when capped. I can carry this in my pocket. I can throw it in the pocket with the keys and everything else. And as you can see, it only gets patina and better with age. No issues whatsoever. If something was going to go wrong with this, I feel like it would have, and it just never has. I love that pen. This, while not as tough in the same way, is a very convenient pen. And the lightness of it makes it perfect for summer everyday carry. And so that's definitely where this is going to be. If you don't want to toss it in your pocket, throw it on that lanyard in that in the carrier that it comes with, which is based on a reusable straw carrier. So a lot of you are carrying those around already anyway. But I'm going to carry it like this in my pocket. I think that is just too convenient not to. If you want it to be stronger, more like this, but with the Quark's lightness and size, they do make it in titanium. So, you know, there is that as well. But yeah, I, I think this is great. I think it is convenient, handy. It's an interesting exercise in design and pen making, and I like it for that reason. And best of all is full-size grip section, full-size nib, and when posted, a full-size writing experience and one that's enjoyable. And uh, I, I actually, I would recommend that broad nib. It's nice and smooth and writes really well. And, you know, a little bit of a surprise factor to have a pen that writes such a nice broad line in such a tiny pen. All right, what do you think? Do you have one? Share your experience. If you don't, what's got you on the fence? If this pen is for you or not for you, share that 
in the comments below. And as always, thank you very much for watching. Thank you for liking and subscribing. And God bless you. And have a great week.